Hey, it pleasant to everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Drew Bork, and this is going to be a video on the Blue Jays adding another player as they get the pitcher Yusei Kikuchi to add to their already very good rotation. Honestly, probably stacked rotation at this point once you add him in, where he agrees to a deal uh, for three years. Yusei Kikuchi signs for $36 million on the dot, which of course comes then to $12 million per season. The Seattle Mariners uh, are a team that lost Yusei Kikuchi, where the Blue Jays gain his services, where Kikuchi, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what Yusei Kikuchi they get, because we have to remember, this dude was goaded, made the All-Star team his first appearance, first half of last year, was the best run of his career, but otherwise, he hasn't been as squeaky clean in his career, and has just been a pretty average pitcher for most of his career that can get get you through five good innings, get you through six solid good innings, but doesn't pop off the charts or anything to you until the beginning of last season, where the Kikuchi relies on four pitches, but mostly three uh, with his four-seamer and cutter, and then the slider and the changeup comes in at 10.5%. I think, honestly, Kikuchi, he has a good slider, but from watching him from afar with the Seattle Mariners and also talking to the great Alex Clark, um, who I've done podcasts with before. You can go back and watch our Mariners stuff on Kyle Seeger retiring and just overall Mariners report Um, if you want to check out stuff with him. But he's a guy that, quite honestly, should use his changeup a little bit more. I think if he can mix that in better and make that pitch a lot better, because he mostly, the pitches he uses the most are just two different fastballs and a cutter and four seamer. I think that's why he gets knocked around sometimes. If you can mix him with that good, solid slider, not an amazing slider, but solid slider, get the change up to uptick more, and really get your whiff and chase rate up. Um, I think that's really going to help because it's not like he has the most movement on his fastball. His fastballs are kind of flat, and his cutter is not the most sweeping cutter. So I think being able to have the sliders and the change up um, as a bigger feature, especially the change up, that will really help Yusei Kikuchi going forward from being just an average pitcher to pitching more consistently like he did in the first half of last season. Because if he pitches consistently like he did in the first half of last season, then he's definitely worth the $12 million bucks. But when it comes to the Blue Jays, too, this is the thing. You have Jose Berrios, you have you grab Kevin Galsman, two very good pickups, and you grab Hunter Ryu, who was obviously a very good pickup that's played very well. Plus, they have Pearson, and they have Alex Manoa, and other very good young pitchers. They also have Trevor Richards, and also a Barucki, who has experience starting. So they have all the depth in the world there. They didn't even necessarily need another starter. And they get a guy who's... At the very least, a great number four. My only thing with him is I think he got paid a tier up. But at the same time, I thought about it and realized it's not as... I, get, I mean, it's kind of a big deal for hopefully it doesn't hurt them trying to add on some guys in the future. But in the terms of the CBT grow, going up and everything, I think that's going to help the Blue Jays when it comes to this deal. They paid him a tier above probably what Kikuchi's worth. But when you're a contending team that knows you're one of the top teams to not only necessarily contend for a very kind of fight-to-the-death division amongst four teams in the AL East, potentially, but also to contend amongst the beasts in the overall AL to try to contend to the end, because I think that's going to be a pretty good bloodbath this year in the AL, particularly in that division in general, when it comes to the Blue Jays, the Rays, the Red Sox, and the Yankees, and then you just have the outlier Baltimore Orioles. But that division is going to be a bloodbath this year, and it's going to be rivalries, um, all galore and some of the bruteness of the rivalries restored, I think. But this has been a quick video on Yusei Kikuchi going to the Toronto Blue Jays for three years, $36 million. Hopefully it works out for them because he did get paid a tier up. But when you're a team that's really going for it, you're going to start to pay guys a little bit more to make sure they come into your team. Similar to how the Giants uh, paid for a guy that's been a more consistent lefty recently, especially through and through when he's been healthy in his career. In Rondon, they paid him big time to guarantee him coming in. But when it comes to Kikuchi, that's what the Blue Jays did here because they know they're one of the better teams definitely on paper when it comes to the AL. Now it's about just showing it on the field because adding in that great rotation to the great hitting they have with the Bobachets, the Guerreros of the world, the Gurriels of the world, and et cetera, et cetera. Well, I mean, that just... The, the sky's the limit for that team, especially if they add a couple relief pitchers. But they might not even need to because if Pearson comes back, he might end up being a stud reliever because they don't really need him in the rotation because they have Manoa. So there's a lot of different options there. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good day. The Blue Jays are going to be a very fun team to watch this year. 
Uh, congratulations to continue to make good moves. I think maybe a relief pitcher or two is about it they need to continue to make. If they add more guys, it wouldn't surprise me, though, because they definitely seem like they're one of those teams that really know how um, to spend now, where they learn from their mistakes from when I was younger, growing up watching them in the earlier 2000s, sometimes showing out contracts that were not as sexy, where now this might not be the sexiest in terms of overall value money-wise. They probably overpaid them a little bit, but I think it will work out in the end because – when I thought about it big time, my first reaction to this was, oh, he got overpaid. But then I thought, well, it's for the Blue Jays, and he's going to be their fourth starter, most likely, and fit very well into that spot and kind of be in a much better place for himself than he would have been in Seattle. So he might actually pitch like a $12 million pitcher because it's all about being in a comfortability place, right, and being slotted in the right spot. He never really was a top two, you say, Kikuchi, but he definitely could be a 3-4. So it could really work out for him. But stay safe, everybody. Peace out and enjoy the season as it's coming closely approaching to us as we have spring training only days away and then the season beginning April 7th.